Are you looking for a place to camp somewhere south of Dallas near Waco? Well, come check out Thousand Trails, Lake Whitney. Let's go. going to take you through and Bill is going to be in the driver's seat. Buckle up buttercup. This park is gated and every camper gets a code to punch in to make it nice and secure so only campers that are supposed to be here get to enter the park. There is a dog park here at the very front of the park if you happen to be uh, camping nearby. Got propane on site. Although most sites are full hookups, not every site has sewer, but they do have a sanitary station on site. Oh, there's more campsites for shoes. This is section D. From section D, we get back on the road. From the tennis courts, we get back on the road. also disc golf courses throughout the park. Beyond the tennis and basketball courts are camping areas A, B, and C and the lake. to section B where we are staying. We are parked in loop B and the first two sites are the only 50 amp sites in this loop. We lucked out and snagged one of them. The sites are quite large for this part of the section. You will find some smaller ones but as you can see it easily fits our 44 foot toy hauler. We have the side patio down as well as the rear patio and we still have room to park the truck. 
right, there's a Section B entrance. Further down is Section B exit. Leaving Section B, let's head to Section A. Here's where Section A begins. We'll go further down the road now. Although the entrances and exits to each section are two-way, you do need to pay attention to this sign right here. This is the final entrance and exit for Section A, which means no RVs beyond this point. All you're gonna find down there is the lounge, the laundry, the pool, and the lake. Now, yes, technically you could turn around if you get down there, but there's a lot of trees that hang low and the curve is pretty tight. I know I would not wanna take my rig down there, so beware. Moving on from section A, taking you down the road. Here is where the road splits. As the sign says, you go this way if you wanna head down to the lake, or you go this way if you wanna to head to the pool and the laundry. Let's head down this way. First parking area you're gonna to come to is the laundry only area. You can take the sidewalk, but let's take this fun little path down and go check it out. Welcome to the laundry room. As you can see, they have four washers as well as four dryers. They are coin operated, but they also take a digital app. So you don't have to get that roll of quarters when you go to the grocery store. You can download the app for free. It works on Apple or Android, and there's little QR codes on each of the machines. You just scan, and it links right to your phone so you can pay for your laundry. And this baby is open 24 hours a day, so it's very convenient for your schedule. Now this lodge space, is awesome. As you can see by the sign, the doors are open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. But this is just a great space to come and hang out, especially if it's a rainy day or if you need to stretch your legs and get a little wiggle room uh, from the RV. They have a cool outdoor hangout space, which is great to just soak in the sun. There's also a huge gathering area in there. It's got a piano that does work, a television complete with movies for you and the family to enjoy, a dining space, which we have actually used because we had friends gather here. So we had a couple of meals up here uh, and we're able to gather. So that space is amazing. There's two large tables that seat at least 10 each. And then there's a fun little area for the kids to play with an assortment of games, toys, and books. The lounge does also have a bathroom, so you don't have to go far when you need to go. Downstairs in the lake house, beyond this door is the laundry room. But on the other side is this amazing game room. There's a bar to hang out at, a television with satellite TV, foosball, billiards, and then just beyond this room is an exercise room as well. You've got a treadmill, a bike, you've even got a punching bag. So this building offers so much for campers to enjoy. So you definitely have to come down here and check it out. Beyond the lake house or lodge is the pool. Unfortunately, it is the end of November, beginning of December, and it is pretty darn cold, but there is still water in the pool. They do have a hot tub and then a pool for you to enjoy and plenty of tables and lounge chairs, perfect for summer sun lounging. As we mentioned before, and if you can tell by the video, this park is huge, super spread out. 
So if you have them, I highly recommend bringing a bike. It is a bikeable park. Unless you're out of shape, it may not be as fun. <laughs> but as you can see, there's a bike rack down here near all of the activities. So everyone can come down and play and get a little exercise too. The day is dying, the sun is setting, but I haven't found the lake. Kids and I were trying to spot it the other day. Ooh, take me to the lake, good sir. We <laughs> shall go. We have made it to the end of the line, but I don't see a lake. All I see is a barren parking lot. I told you it's over here. Come on. For those of you who don't know, Lake Whitney has a dam that is managed by the Army Corps of Engineers. So although that section is roped off, I think it's to prevent vehicle traffic, not foot traffic. It does say that this is maintained by Thousand Trails. So we are legit supposed to be here, right, Bill? Sure. Maybe. Well, on we go anyway. This is not a paved path. Uh, it's pretty gravelly. So those of you who um, need to have a wheelchair for accessibility or use a cane, uh, this may not be the path for you. What she's really saying is, there better be a payoff at the end of this stroll. <laughs> or I'm in big trouble. Mm. actually found a lake associated with the campground. It's perfect time of day to come out here. The sun setting. It really is a gorgeous park. It just reminds me of like a state park where you would go and have some summertime fun. Absolutely. Now, no, it's not the perfect park. Their roads are definitely in need of some repair. Uh, and their buildings are showing their age but they still have amazing amenities and they have plenty of parking with lots of shade and privacy, which I really love. Yeah, so much to do. Uh, the kids and I tried to go out, we would shoot hoops or we'd go up uh, to where the entrance is and they got all those, with that, like soccer billiards, I don't know what you call it, mini golf, and a favorite of the kids, Gaga Ball. Mm -hmm. And I love the location. So it's only about an hour and 15 minutes from the Dallas Metro. It's about 40 to 50 minutes from the Waco area. So if you wanna check out the silos uh, or some Baylor sports, you're pretty close. And the nice thing about it being kind of out in the middle of nowhere is, that's right, you hear nothing. No highway sounds, no road traffic. It's peaceful and quiet. Well, let us know. What do you think of Lake Whitney? Is this the kind of campground you would enjoy yourself in? Where's that thousand trailers at? Have you been here? What's your secret? Where's the secret spot? What's the best loop to be in? Our friends, mm -hmm. the Marxes were here. Uh, they kind of pulled through B and said, I don't know, some of those branches kind of freak us out. We got a brand new rig. They went over to A-Loop. But we lucked out and got one of the 50 amp sites in B-Loop, and I've really been enjoying that, too. Just like she enjoys our site, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a big old thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you can be notified every time we release a new video. 
Well, I'm Natasha. And I'm Bill. With Nursing Our Travel Bug, encouraging you to nurse what makes you happy. And right now, that's enjoying this beautiful sunset by the lake with my one and only. Oh, we're still recording. I wanted to go enjoy the view. Ooh, that's it. It's a little bright. It's very bright. <laughs>